Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Uh, I'm here to do your reading for the end of October. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the Vice Versa deck. I um, cut the deck just a second ago, and we have the Knight of Pentacles on the top. Um, this, is, this is telling me that you may feel like things have been taking a little too long. Sometimes you may feel like you um, aren't going where you need to be going, or you may even feel like giving up. Now, typically my love readings are love readings, so if this was to be in a love situation, I'm here to tell you don't give up, because even though things have been delayed, it doesn't mean that what you're headed towards isn't coming. You know, what you want isn't coming. Sometimes, you know, the best things come in time, right? So don't give up. What is that? Patience is a virtue. Best things come to those who wait. That kind of thing. So keep that in mind. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Who does typically move very slow. So keep that in mind. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that if you're dealing with one of them, they're very practical, loyal, stable and they want to be sure that they're making the right decision so Ooh. so you may be receiving some sort of communication from someone this is the nine of pentacles you may be turning your back on singlehood cancer maybe your time of if you're single it could be coming to an end just gotta tell you Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I, you may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who, you know, if you look on this side, you notice her throne is all battered and it's old and she still has something to offer. You know, she gives her all. She gives her all. She puts herself last. Here, she is going within, looking outside for the answers. Again, trying to be practical, grounding herself. She may feel like she doesn't have any more to offer. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and she has been delaying things, she or he has been delaying things, they may think that they don't have enough to offer you. You know, she's been she's been through a lot. You notice, I mean, it's her her throne is like battered and broken down, and she's given her all to something, and she's she probably feels like she doesn't have very much left to give. I don't know where that's coming from. Six of Pentacles. And this is about generosity. Giving, again, giving. I think you're being given, because this looks like it's a genie almost. A genie looking down that is giving you a blessing, Cancer. You may be getting some sort of blessing from above. Could be this loyal person. Um, ooh, the Ace of Wands. This is passion. This is like lightning bolt. This is fire. This is like something is being set on fire. So I feel like you have this spark. You do. There's there's a there's a spark. There's a fire being lit. There absolutely is, and it's coming from above. Okay, and this is coming from above as well. You are being given something, Cancer. And whatever it is, it is is absolutely two aces. It's something that is being given to you from above. That's real. It's real. 
it may <laughs> mess up your singlehood if you're single. It may be what you've actually been praying for. You know, she looks like she's talking to the moon. You ever hear that song, Talking to the Moon by Bruno Mars? She's been talking to the moon. Maybe this woman, because she's like talking to the world as well. I think I may have said that, has been praying. And I've listened to that song recently, Talking to the Moon. So I feel like there's a... A wish being granted. This reminds me of a genie. In, in, and I think it's a new partner. Because this is a new partner. And, and this could be like a new. A real passionate new beginning with someone. Where there's an instant. Instant spark. That lightning hits and it's on fire. On fire. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, there you are. We got an opportunity that you can take to the bank. Could be with a Taurus. Could be with a Taurus. Could be with another Cancer. Could be with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's probably an Earth sign. Because we had that page of Pentacles. Or that Knight of Pentacles in the beginning. Could be anybody. Could be any sign. But this is Taurus. I've, and it could lead to commitment, marriage, solid, stable, t Cancer. You're being given another ace. One, one, one. Oh, my God. So you guys are being given an opportunity. It is a blessing from above. This is an opportunity that is something that you manifested. It's something that the other person manifested. It's something that is going to lead you down a new path. Once you go down that, Taurus got this card too. Just like this, this same side. It did. That's the other side. So you could, this, I think you're dealing with a Taurus. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it looks as though once you go down that road, it's over. It's over. So, you know, I feel as though there is something that you have put a lot of effort into that is coming to fruition. It's something that is going to... Because ones are also a card of independence. One is a number of independence. It is. One. That's a card. It's, it is independence. And this is a card of... In, your independence is about to be over. If you are single and you are ready, you're ready, you have an opportunity for commitment here. This is the card of commitment. This is being given to you from above, okay? It really is. It's all, that's all I can say. This is something that this new beginning that you are being offered is something that is very stable. It can lead to something long. No, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's an instant spark. There's a lot of loyalty. And it's it's like you, you're, there's all of a sudden there's this, union that comes about that really wakes you up okay because there's an awakening here this is a wake-up call it's like oh my god oh my god and i feel as though this is the um page of swords i feel as though this message that is coming in there's some sort of communication coming in that may um be happening really really fast it may be so, the 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 communication, the the spark, or whatever is happening is happening so fast that you may even feel a little uncomfortable. It's like, oh my God, this is this is unbelievable. Um, I feel as though you guys are headed in a new direction with another person. Um, that is. going to give equally to the relationship i mean the six of pentacles is is balance peace harmony um give and take you know where there's equality this person it's not like going to be a one-sided situation you both are going to put in effort to 
make this work. But it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy. I think that the spark is going to be so quick that you aren't even going to have to put in a lot of effort. Do you know what I mean? I think that there's going to be an instant pull in a direction towards another person that is undeniable and it's going to mess up your independence if you're single. If you're single, you have a, a new flame coming into your life that is undeniable. And you may feel a little scared of this. You may feel a little conflicted because it seems too good to be true. But it's not too good to be true. I think it's something that you have been aiming for. I think that you've put in effort. You've done a lot of work on yourself. You've taken the time to master your yourself you know I, that's what it looks like to me you've come to a point of mastery where maybe now you have something to give teach another person you know what I mean you've come to that point of self-mastery that's what it looks like to me and it looks like because you've come to that point now you are receiving some sort of gift from above and I feel like this gift is the gift of a new flame for those of you that are single. If you are in a relationship right now, it feels like there is some sort of truth that is coming out that is going to relight the flame, okay? If you've been going through some trouble and you've there's been some conflicts, it feels like there's going to be some sort of coming together where it there's like a renewal, there's like a... It's all good. It's all good. It's like I don't see any breakup here. I don't see any split. I don't see any trouble. I don't see any trouble. Yeah, there's some conflicts that you may have had. There may have been a, a petty argument or something. But I think that there's communication that comes through that clears it up. Because I see that this is very stable, solid, um, secure, passionate. There's This flame is undeniable it's like it's meant to be whatever is happening here for you cancer is good it's good I don't see you being on your own I don't see you unhappy I think that whatever you're in right now or going into is leading to marriage it's leading to long-term commitment and I feel like there's no looking back now I think you are headed in a direction towards somebody that is very stable secure and loyal I see loyalty here. I feel like there is a new opportunity coming in for you or there's a reconciliation of some sort. You know, if you're in a couple, if you're in a couple and there's been some sort of conflict, I feel like, you know, you both may need t time t to, you know, reflect and think about it. But I feel like there's no trouble kind of come out of it. I think that you're in a solid, stable situation. I think there's a huge commitment here. And you may be dealing with a Taurus. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it feels like you're getting what you deserve. This is what you deserve. You are being given is a gift from above. That's all I can really say for this. This is a, this is a gift from above. This is the Queen of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is seeing things from a new perspective. I feel like and this is the card of independence as well. Your independence is about to be shaken. Okay? You are. Your independence is about to be shaken up. That's what I see. Oh, my God. With the Ten of You're about to fall in love. You're about to fall in love. If you're not in love already, I don't see independence coming about here. I think that if you've been independent, be prepared for a happily ever after. And it leads to victory and success. This is the Six of Wands. There's an opportunity for extreme bliss. If you've been independent, I don't think it's going to be for much longer. If you've been feeling lonely, that's going to dissolve as well. If you're in a couple and you, there's been some sort of conflict, 
I feel like there's going to be some kind of communication that comes through that dis resolves, dissolves, because this road is dissolving the conflict. The conflict is going away. High Priestess, this is an inner knowing. I think you know what this is. I think you know who this is. I think that your intuition is leading you down a new path. Trust your intuition at this time. I think whatever is happening right now is part of your script because this is part of the written script. It's meant to be. And whatever is happening is happening very, very quickly. And this is the rods of love. So I feel like you are falling in love. The spark, the flame is going to be instant. There's, go there's an instant attraction that is undeniable. Oh my God, I just flipped this over and now we have the page or the night of, remember we had this first? We see the other side. Now, now, he's in the, now he's in the light. It's like you're waiting. Remember I said you've been waiting. You may feel like giving up or whatever. Like I said, don't give up. Look at this shit. Now that's is why. Don't give up because what you've been waiting for is here. The light is out. The sun has come back out. And you're about to get what you've been waiting for. Congratulations. That's what this is. And it's probably an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person moves slowly because they're stable. They're not flighty. They're not impulsive. So Cancer, I feel like at the end of the month you can expect a undeniable attraction to blossom, to grow. I don't see any split. I don't see any breakup. I don't see anything bad. I see this turning into happiness, commitment, perhaps even marriage. I think what whoever you're involved with at this time is part of your script. It's going to lead to extreme victory and success. It's a gift from above. Sixes, it's, this person is going to bring balance and harmony back to your life. They're going to help you to balance things out. One, one, one. This is something that you've manifested through your thoughts. It's something that you have been dreaming of, praying for, talking to the moon, whether it's you or the other person. This is a manifested connection that is meant to be. And it's happening like... So fast that you may feel a little uncomfortable that it's happening so fast. Now, I think it took its time coming and now all of a sudden it's boom here and it's like, oh my God. Now that it's here, it's like, oh shit. I'm in love. I'm in love. And when you thought it was never going to happen, the universe said, here's your gift. Let's get two of these for cancer. You're receiving some communication that is, or some sort of truth or some sort of epiphany that or some sort I think it's a gift I think it's a, a wish being fulfilled that's what I think with one one ones I do I think it's a and some sort of in this I mean I just think it's a new flame I think you are receiving a new partner or a if you're in a relationship right now your your partner that you're with is the right one okay oh my god this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You seek. I just happened to look down. You are dealing with the one. This is the one. Congratulations. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Do you trust? Do you believe? Are you ready? Because the next card is trust. 
the situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust that is what is meant to be is meant to be. Whew, so Cancer, this could definitely be the one. What else do you have for Cancer? One more card. I believe that there is a solid, stable opportunity here that is going to lead to happiness, marriage, and a whole lot of passion. I see a lot of passion, great sex. Right up there. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. Interesting. What is that? Interesting. And this is look at something from a new perspective as well. So there's something you need to look at differently. Maybe trust because trust is here. Can you trust? And this is have faith. And have faith? Can you trust and have faith that what is meant to be will be? And trust and have faith in the universe? Can you trust and have faith in the other person? Trust is needed here. If you're dealing with an earth sign, the chances that this earth sign is loyal is very, very good. If you were to look up the traits of an earth sign, if you're dealing with an earth sign, loyalty is in the top, okay? So if you're worried about that, I'm here to tell you that they're usually very loyal. Not all. I mean, you know how that goes. But whatever this is, Believe. Believe that this is meant to be and it will be. So Cancer, I believe, I do believe, I believe that you have a flame here. And I hate to say the word before that. That is meant to be. This could be the one that leads to happily ever after marriage, commitment, and take away the independence that you once had. Not that you won't be independent, but you know what I mean? You'll become partners. From one to two. And this is absolutely, positively something that you manifested. So, this is what I have for you, Cancer. I feel as though you have a love connection that is meant to be at this time. Congratulations. If you're single, if you're single, be prepared to get shaken up. <laughs>